Today, we're stepping back in time to explore the lesser-known chapter of the cinematic legend Harrison Ford. Before he navigated the galaxies as Han Solo or cracked the whip as Indiana Jones, Ford took on some quirky and unexpected roles. First up, we rewind to 1970 with Getting Straight, directed by Richard Rush. In this film, Ford plays Jack, a small yet memorable role showcasing his ability to bring personality to even the most fleeting appearances. Set against the backdrop of student activism and societal change, Getting Straight offered a glimpse of Ford's potential. His early performances, though brief, hinted at the depth and versatility he would later be renowned for. In 1977, Ford stepped into the world of comedy with heroes. Playing alongside Henry Winkler, Ford's character Ken Boyd stands out as one of his most eccentric performances. His portrayal of a NASCAR racing ally is as quirky as it gets, a far cry from the serious roles he would later be known for. This role demonstrated Ford's ability to inject humor and oddity into his characters, a trait less seen in his later career. But Ford's versatility didn't stop there. In Force 10 from Navarone, a sequel to the classic The Guns of Navarone, he delved into the action genre. Although the film didn't match the acclaim of its predecessor, Ford's dynamic performance alongside Robert Shaw and Carl Weathers showcased his growing prowess in action roles. Then there's Hanover Street, where Ford takes on a romantic lead in a World War II drama. Opposite Leslie Ann Down and Christopher Plummer, Ford's portrayal of Lieutenant David Holleron in this love triangle echoes the sentimental charm of classic cinema. These early roles of Harrison Ford paint a picture of a versatile actor, exploring different genres and characters. His journey from these quirky roles to becoming an iconic figure in Hollywood is a testament to his talent and adaptability. From comedy to war drama, Ford has done it all, setting the stage for a career that would forever impact the landscape of film.